Hello. How are you all? Thanks for staying. Five minutes, really? Shit. Um, okay, so CVE 2012, it's old. It's everyone I hear, everyone here, I hope kind of knows what it's about. Um, a very important slide about me. Take that all in. I'm talking about old shit. This is really old 2012. Everyone knows what it's about. It's not cool old shit. It's just old shit. Um, it's basically a remote code execution in PHP. You would have probably seen it. It looks kind of like that in your Apache logs. Um, that's not really that easy to read because it's white and black and it's on a screen far away. So let's take a closer look at it. First line is uh, my blog access log. The attacking IP address, I mean the uh, IP address that's coming towards me. Um, oh, or trying to request that page, date, blah, blah, blah. It's a post, and then it's the, a call to CGI bin, PHP, blah, blah, blah. You've all seen this, right? Hands up who's seen this. So you all know what I'm talking about, so I can go home. Awesome. Um, but you can decode the, the, the basic, the, the, the encoded stuff there. It doesn't really give us anything useful because it's tiny text that you can't see on a screen, but that's in the, the decoded bit. But the problem with that is it's the bit, it's not the post data that, that you know, it's, the post data is where all the good stuff is. So we need something to get to that post data, which is where Glassstoff is Lucas here, Jonathan's here, Lucas is not here. Lucas wrote um, a Honeypot software called Glassstoff. What it does is it says, yes, I'm this vulnerable piece of web software, and it takes in everything, and it, then you get stuff back in a nice little report that looks kind of like that. This is a horrible script that I wrote to, to pull out information. But this is a similar request, except you see the A at the bottom there, that's the post data. Boring. Anyway, your time's gone. Um, so let's let, take a look at another one. This is another attack from somewhere in the world, and you can see the post data there. There's a, it's calling PHP system to run ID, find out who we are, run kill all on .klogd, because that's a great idea. Um, CD into a temp directory, remove old stuff, make new stuff, and then get our payload, um, which is usually like an RC bot or something like that. And this is all we're really talking about. It's, it's remote code execution to pull down files from remote servers onto your web server, execute them, extract them, whatever the case may be. These are some examples of um, a particular attack attacking my machine. Um, it's all Perl DDoS stuff, which is fairly boring. I did get a very interesting sample a while back at uh, CCC, around CCC time. I didn't have access to it now because I'm a retard. Um, but it was six files, MIP, uh, two MIPS files, two ARM files, and two x86 files. Um, we didn't quite figure out what they were doing, but I, we think it was some sort of DDoS stuff. I'm not a reverse engineer at all, so I didn't reverse it. A friend of mine did, um, but it was interesting. This was an interesting one uh, recently, Wall of Text. Um, same stuff at the top, but it's basically um, three different variables, which is uh, base64 encoded elf binaries. So if you chuck this whole wall of text into a P uh, base64 decoder, you'll get an elf binary. There were th three elf binaries, two elf binaries. The buffer f and buffer two are the two elf binaries. And then it just dumps those to file, runs, runs them, or changes the, the, the permissions on it, and then runs it. Um, this is a new DDoS bot that's going around um, the world DDoSing people because DDoS is awesome. Looks like that. And that's pretty much what I'm talking about. This is all I'm really seeing on my honeypot um, is just boring DDoS scripts, but I thought it was quite interesting. Um, so what I want you to take away from this, it's really bad for us, good guys. Um, bad guys love it um, because it lets you put pictures of goldfish in toilet bowls. Uh, what I want you to take away from this, patch your shit, otherwise you're gonna look like a dog in a mustache. Um, preferably don't use PHP because it's a pile of crap. I'm sorry, it's not a pile of crap, it's wonderful. And um, thank you. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs>